superheroes seldom face permanent demise. While they might encounter defeat or even exhibit a lifeless form, seasoned comic book enthusiasts understand that superheroes inevitably make comebacks, a fundamental aspect of comic book dynamics. Regrettably, the same cannot be said for the actors portraying these characters, the individuals mentioned here before their passing. Not only left an indelible impact by portraying some of Marvel's beloved and compelling characters, but also contributed significantly to Hollywood through their extensive and impressive body of work. Lucy Gordon, an emerging talent in Hollywood, secured a role in Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 3 as Jennifer Dugan, a news reporter covering the chaotic events in New York City involving Sandman and Venom's attack, as well as the ensuing battle with Spider-Man and Harry Osborn. Prior to this, she featured in several films, including The Four Feathers alongside Heath Ledger, portrayed Caroline Mitchell in the 2001 romantic comedy Serendipity, and pursued modeling with CoverGirl in the late 1990s tragically just days before her 29th birthday, and the release of her final film Serge Gainsbourg in 2009, where she portrayed British celebrity Jane Birkin, partner of the titular singer-songwriter. Gordon took her own life in her Paris apartment. William Hurt enjoyed a distinguished career, earning acclaim for roles in films such as Broadcast News, A History of Violence, and Kiss of the Spider Woman, the latter earning him an Oscar and a BAFTA Award for Best Actor. Joining the Marvel Cinematic Universe in 2008's The Incredible Hulk as Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross, a U.S. general pursuing Bruce Banner after a super soldier experiment mishap. Hurt continued his MCU journey with appearances in films like Captain America Civil War and Avengers Infinity War. Despite being diagnosed with terminal prostate cancer in 2018, Hurt made a final appearance as Thunderbolt Ross in 2021's Black Widow and featured in The King's Daughter, released in January 2022 after an eight-year distribution dispute. Unfortunately, he passed away in 2022 due to complications from his illness. Unlike Chadwick Boseman, Marvel opted to recast Thunderbolt Ross, with Harrison Ford taking on the role in upcoming Phase 5 films, Captain America Brave New World and Thunderbolts. Stan Lee, the iconic writer behind Marvel Comics characters like Spider-Man, played a pivotal role in revolutionizing comic book characterization alongside Jack Kirby and Steve Ditko. Lee's influence brought relatable superheroes and real-life consequences to the forefront. His widespread recognition in the Marvel Universe grew through cameos in films based on his characters, a tradition that started well before the official launch of the Marvel Cinematic Universe in 2008 with Iron Man. Unfortunately, Lee passed away in 2018, a year after his wife Joan. The MCU continued to honor him with posthumous appearances in the 2019 films Captain Marvel and Avengers Endgame, featuring tributes and a digitally de-aged Lee. His enduring impact on these characters remains significant. James Gunn, the writer and director of 2017's Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2, incorporated his parents, Jim Gunn Sr. and Leota Gunn, into the film as extras. Notably, Jim Gunn Sr. portrayed the weird old man who, along with his wife, observes Earth's peril at the hands of Ego, the living planet. This family involvement extended to other relatives, including Gunn's sister-in-law, nieces, nephews, and more, appearing in the same scene. Tragically, Jim Gunn Sr. passed away in 2019, adding emotional weight to the film's themes of fatherhood. Gunn Sr. is acknowledged in the credits of the 2023 film, Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3, along with Marvel Studios crew member Chris Reynolds and special effects supervisor Chris Shaw. Michael Lerner, who passed away in April 2023 at the age of 81, left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. Known for his Oscar-nominated role in Barton Fink, 1992, and his portrayal of Mr. Greenway in the 2003 film Elf, Lerner joined the Marvel Universe in 2014 with X-Men Days of Future Past, playing U.S. Senator Brickman. While Lerner continued his career with notable appearances in films like Eight Men Out and the 1998 Godzilla film, his Marvel role marked one of his final performances. After two more films, including the 2019 Netflix mockumentary Frankenstein's Monster, Lerner retired before his passing. James Colby had dual roles in the Marvel cinematic landscape, 
while portraying a police officer in 2014's The Amazing Spider-Man 2. He played a more significant character in Jessica Jones. Colby portrayed Brian Jones, Jessica's father, in a pivotal episode of the series. Brian's tragic death in a car accident, depicted in flashbacks, shapes Jessica's character and influences the overarching narrative. Despite his impactful role, Colby passed away in February 2018 with his final major screen appearances in TV shows Empire and Chicago PD. Ray Stevenson, known for his role as Frank Castle in Punisher Warzone, entered the Marvel Universe again in 2011's Thor as Volstagg and as Guardian Warrior. Stevenson reprised the role in Thor The Dark World and Thor Ragnarok, where his character meets a tragic end at the hands of Hela. Unfortunately, Thor Ragnarok marks Stevenson's final appearance in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, as the actor passed away in May 2023 while filming a project in Italy. Stevenson will posthumously appear in the upcoming Disney Plus Star Wars series Ahsoka. Annie Wersing, known for her roles in 24 and Timeless, left a lasting impact on various shows and even contributed to the acclaimed video game The Last of Us. In Marvel's Runaways, she played Leslie Dean, a key character in the Hulu series set in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Additionally, Wershing took on the role of the Borg Queen in Star Trek Picard in 2022. Unfortunately, her battle with cancer, which she had kept private since her diagnosis in 2020, concluded with her passing in January 2023. Her absence was noted in the third episode of HBO's The Last of Us adaptation, where she was initially set to make a guest appearance. Chadwick Boseman's journey to stardom began with roles as historical figures in biopics before making a profound impact in the Marvel Cinematic Universe as T'Challa in Black Panther. Tragically, his promising career was cut short when he succumbed to colon cancer in August 2020. Posthumously nominated for his role in Emma Rainey's Black Bottom, Boseman's legacy lives on. In the Marvel Universe, his iconic character T'Challa was honored rather than recast, with Black Panther Wakanda forever paying tribute to Boseman's influential contribution while passing the Black Panther mantle to his on-screen sister Shuri. Darren McGavin, a seasoned character actor known for iconic roles like the old man in A Christmas Story, took on the role of General Fleming in the 1992 low-budget Captain America. McGavin, with a prolific career spanning from the F-50s to the 2000s, left a lasting legacy in television and film. His diverse roles included headlining Kolchak the Night Stalker in the 70s and portraying memorable fathers in shows like Murphy Brown and Billy Madison. McGavin passed away in 2006 at the age of 83, leaving behind a body of work more renowned than his part in the superhero film.